Hi everyone. Um, one of my subscribers asked if I would produce another video um, covering the kind of accessories and, that I use in the shack. Um, that would be a really long video because there are lots of them. Um, I don't really have the time to do it. So what I thought I would do would be to talk about probably two of the most important accessories that I use. As it so happens, both are manufactured by Benito uh, in Germany. Um, the first is this a galvanic isolator. This is a GI 300. I've also got a GI 1000. And basically this little device is designed to suppress noise that would reach uh, ground uh, on the receiver um, up to, from 30 kilohertz up to 300 megahertz. I've got the GI 1000, which does the same thing, but up to one gigahertz. And they're really useful because I, it has a little toroidal transformer inside and I think it actually isolates the uh, current that might be flowing back uh, on the outer surface of the coaxial shielding from an antenna feed line. Um, and well, you can look at my video. I've got lots of videos where I've tested this thing and in certain circumstances with certain types of noise, um, always much easier to ascertain if you're using an SDR, but I've been in situations where the noise floor has dropped by sort of 20 dBm using one of these devices where there's been a, a you know a lot a huge amount of QRM so they do work very very well um as i said sold by uh, Benito in Germany um i think they're manufactured by a company called NTI who have a very close relationship with Benito um and a simple device that just works really well. So I've got a couple of these and um, and I've been using them for years. In fact, I was just looking on the internet. There's a video of mine where I'm testing this in kind of real time using the Elad FTM Duo um, going back several years. So if you, even if you don't live in a particularly noisy environment, if you want to potentially reduce your noise floor, because that's what you want to do at the end of the day, it's not about the strength of the signal, it's about the signal to noise. It's the ratio of the amplitude of your signal, however you want to measure it, dBm or whatever, versus how much noise you've got. So it's the signal to noise that really matters. And this device um, works exceptionally well. And as I said, I've got two of them. And um, although they're not necessary, they're not really necessary for listening to the stronger broadcast band uh, signals. Um, if you're trying to work any DX, uh, unless you've got an absolutely zero noise uh, environment, in which case you probably live on the top of a mountain, um, I've just found them to be very, very useful indeed. So, um, so that's one of the most important uh, accessories that I use. The other is the Benito Antenna Jet RF Splitter. Mine is the AAS 300DP, um, splits uh, uh, incoming RF from nine kilohertz to 300 megahertz. You can go higher, you can use it higher than 300 megahertz. I think the insertion loss is one dB. You just get a higher, I think you just get a higher insertion loss if you try to use it above the upper limit of 300 megahertz. But it runs off USB power, so it's five volt USB in, input. So effectively it's lossless. I think you can actually, I say it's five volt USB, but I think you can also operate it there you go, that's the reverse. So USB or external DC, 12 volt, maximum 60 milliamps. So um, so what it does is you um, it'll take a signal and, and split it into three separate outputs with no losses um, because it's a powered device. Um, and so for my from my point of view what that actually means is that it just means that for example if i if i'm using my wellbrook ala 1530 loop out in the garden and i want to and i want to use more than one receiver i can plug three receivers into it using one antenna and it just splits that signal three ways uh, and it, it's a very good way of comparing receivers so um it, I, it, I found it really, really useful. And my friend uh, at Benito, who you guys um, know him, I'm sure some of you know him anyway, um, uh, Dennis, did me a good deal on this. And um, I hope I've repaid him because it is featured 
not directly but indirectly featured because I've stated whenever I've viewed, whenever I've reco recorded a signal and posted it, I've always stated what antenna I'm using and whether or not it's via the antenna jet, which ne nearly always it is. So uh, they're, 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 that they are the two, I, I think, most important accessories in my shack. There are lots of others, um, but it would take me a, a long time to work through all of those um, and share them with you. What I would say is, is that for those of you who are familiar with the channel, you guys know what I use. If there's anything specific that you want me to share with you, um, I'll be happy to do so. So um, I think that sort of completes the set really. So we've looked at portable receivers, tabletop receivers, um, SDR receivers, and now a couple of my, important accessories someone did actually ask me to test on receive wants the comparison of the um jrc nrd525 probably my best performing receiver in the shack compare that on receive to uh, my kenwood ts990 so that's another video that i will do when i get time but uh, for now um, i hope that you guys have found this latest series of videos uh, interesting um, and potentially useful. So anyway, there you go. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Keep safe and I'll speak to some of you again soon. Cheers. All the best. 73.